Hi friends, this is Emily at the Coloring Oasis. Welcome. Very, very excited to show you my entire autumn and fall adult coloring book collection, including talking to you about how you can create autumn and fall pictures from non-autumn and fall coloring books. So, I have a lot of books here. I don't know if this is going to happen in one video or two, but I'll know by the time I get to the end. I'll let you know if there's going to be a part two if we get through them all. I won't do full flip throughs, just a quick little spin through. First, if you haven't seen it, I just released uh, two days ago my What I Colored in October video, which was almost an hour long because I think I had about 35 Halloween pages and Etsy printables. Um, everything from, from Deborah Muller to Mariella Budek, um, to May Yu, to Joshua Dunbar, Jade Summer, Molly Harrison, um, Teresa Goodridge, Autumn Charm, uh, all kinds of Halloween, some scary, some traditional, some cute. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. Definitely set a reminder to watch it this weekend if you haven't had a chance. There's some really fun stuff. You can see what I did my entire month. So um, I do have here the world's biggest pile. So I'm going to move these to the side. Um, now certainly you can get books that are autumn and fall themed like what I'm going to show you here. Um, but first of all, if you don't have any autumn themed books or I want you to think along the lines of finding the book, looking into the books you do have and seeing if you can make them autumn themed. So I have this gorgeous book, Nocturnes, by L.A. Koldareva. Um, and you can take like any, if you have any of the Etsy International Overseas Coloring Books or any, you know, Beautiful Girls and Settings Coloring Books, you can look through your non-autumn fall themed books and find pictures that would work for autumn and fall. So I thought I would give you an example. Um, what I'm going to be doing for this month is, is this one. And I really feel like this could be a great autumn and fall picture because of the owl. Namely, you do think of a lot of owls in the woods and cozy campfire nights, cold weather. But this gorgeous kind of medieval, you know, princess with her robes. I thought, you know, we could do all autumn color leaves. I can do... Um, like red and yellow orange leaves. We have some, a lot of wood here, maybe wood or stone, not sure you can do either. Um, you could do a beautiful orange, red, auburn hair with some browns and yellows and gold in her robe and a nice kind of bright autumn blue sky. Or, I mean, you can take the colors of autumn and something that's similar and turn it into an autumn picture if it's not. So this would be one good example of that. And this is one I'm going to color for next month. And this is Nocturnes. Um, now it won't work for every picture, right? So like this one is a is an ocean theme. Obviously we can't pull it off with that one. So you just have to look through the books you have. For example, Hannah Carlson's Witch's Cottage. Certainly you can come up with some that would be perfect um, for autumn. Also, any of your any landscape books, any that you have that are florals, any that are just country scenes, you can do your country scenes, even if it's meant to be a summer spring country scene, and do fall colors. If you any kind of books that have foliage, grasses, mountains, hills, flowers, gardens, you can do fall colors in those those outdoor settings, and instead of instead of spring colors like greens and pinks and purples and and turn it into an autumn page. So I just wanted to let you know that is an option. Actually, here is one other option. Um, this is um, Melanico, and there's a little bit of everything, but there are some different themes in here because this is actually Four Seasons. So there's a kind of a Thanksgiving picture here. There's a Halloween picture here. One I have a work in progress. I haven't finished from last month. Here's one you can do for Thanksgiving here. Um, 
so any of the books, anything with mushrooms, that would be fall, right? Um, this is an autumn section. So a lot of books might have uh, any seasonal books. You can find some, some of that just picking, looking through. So let me start with this one. This is the big, and it is, it is big, Book of Halloween and Autumn by Molly Harrison, 100 pages. Almost too big. I think I, I would have rather had her smaller books. But this includes um, Halloween and Autumn uh, coloring book, Halloween, Autumn Fantasy, and Whimsical World. So it includes several books in one, um, which was fine. I mean, I didn't have any of them. So I have a lot of tabs in my pages. You can see what any um, what I'm going to be coloring for the month. So I am going to color this one. Another witch, but I'm going to do more of an autumn theme because I didn't just I just don't have Halloween out of my system yet. So this book is entirely just line art. Um, but there's Halloween, gothic theme, witch theme, dress up theme fairies and you know October November is really autumn right and Halloween is in the autumn so fall and autumn books can still include Halloween which is why I still do some Halloween theme books into um into November you have tons to choose from in here not so much into like the autumn fairies but there are some in here I like but you can glitz up with your stickles or anything you want to um, make this more autumn colors. I like that one a lot. Make sure I got the way back. Yeah, everything you could possibly want is in this book. Um, this is the one I did. I showed you in my October video. So that's the big book of Halloween and Autumn, 100 pages by Molly Harrison. I also have, this is brand new, pretty new. I think it was last month. Hello Country Fall by Joshua Dunbar. I love Joshua Dunbar, famous for his easy coloring books, but this is more of a, a little more advanced. And it just has great, great pictures. I'm gonna start from the back going forward. So some of them seem like easy coloring. Oh, those are the free ones. Some of them are easy coloring. There's a lot of nature. Um, yeah, so his start with in the back, I'm going back to the front. We have outdoor landscape. There's a Halloween one. Roosters. Ugh, I love that. Farmer's Market. So this is brand new. I haven't colored anything in it, so I have to pick one. So you can practice your easy coloring. You can do stuff that's a little more advanced. I'm probably going to do this one because I love it. And um, some of these are just farm scenes. Like, theoretically, could you do this a spring scene? This is what I was talking about. You could do bright, sunny sky and greens for spring and blue water. Or you can do autumn and all oranges and reds and browns. And you can do winter even, like, put some frost in the water. I mean, you can change the look of a picture to make it whatever season you want. And this is the Coloring Book Cafe's Easy Autumn. Spin off of the Jade Summer, of course, and Joshua Dunbar styles. Um, it has a little more choices. Love the fruits and vegetables, simple coloring. I might do some tutorials on my channel for you guys for coloring foods with pencils. Thanksgiving turkeys, <coughs> mushrooms. Happy Halloween. I love cooking with mushrooms in the fall. And it, of course it has the little small thumbnail size if you want to practice or copy these onto cardstock and make these into little postcards. So that is the really nice book, which I really like. Uh, Coloring Book Cafe's Easy Autumn. See what I mean? These are all these gorgeous fall colors. Oh, that's one thing that all of these books kind of have in common is um, putting these colors into your picture will make it automatically autumn theme, right? Um, this is Sally Berry's Cozy Autumn. I never owned a Sally Berry book before. I kind of liked this one. I was very surprised. So I think it's kind of like Jade Summer, Sally Berry. 
it kind of trips me up because I always think Halle Berry when I, <laughs> I don't know why. This is in the back, fall season. So these are a little different. Different than what I've seen. A little more details in this book. So I do like many of the pictures in here. You would think with, oh, I like, I love this, like a New England. Oh, I love, I'm gonna have to do this one. New England book shopping. Apple cider donuts. To find one I wanna do in here. I like this one. This is a neat book. Surprising how many I have. They're not like, you'd think they're all the same, but they're just not. It's, they're, they're not, I mean, there's, they're different and unique. Um, next, I have, you've probably seen before, The 50 Autumn Mandalas by Camelia Angelkova. Just like the 50 um, uh, Halloween mandalas. I did do one. I showed you in my October What I Colored video. This is a nice book. I don't love mandalas, but I like them when there's a lot of actual real pictures in the middle, not just like zigzaggies and zen doodly type mandalas. And I really hated the Kukawayo mandala new book that came out because they put a frame on it that comes to here. So the mandalas are really small, like the frame. Um, I like how these mandalas go all the way to the edge. Yeah, so that's the 15 autumn mandalas. These, and her books are super cheap. I think they're like five, four ninety nine. I mean, really, you cannot go wrong. Um, here we have by the coloring book Cafe Autumn Splendor, which is a nice small book. Um, many, many, many cute things in here. Super cute. A lot more animals in here, as I recall. A lot of food, pies. Some of them are kind of zoomed in a little closer up than I would like. I kind of like things zoomed out a little more. Imagine trying to color your Thanksgiving dinner. I don't, I do not do well with food. All the more reason I should probably do it. I love mushrooms. I make the best um, uh, vegan, non-dairy, um, but it has a cashew cream base, cream of mushroom soup. It has like all these wild mushrooms in it and my Instant Pot, it's so good. I make it every year. Okay, so that's the little book, um, Autumn Splendor, coloring book, Cafe. And I have Demita Victoria's Autumn Scenes. Very nice book. This one is a little bit thicker. It's pretty heavy. A lot of detailed pages. Demita Victoria is a, a brand that I really like. I have about 12 of her books or her. It's really a company. Um, can I flip it this way? I'm just left handed. I just have a tendency to want to go this way. Um, are they doubles? Are there doubles in here? Let's see. I don't know if there's doubles or not. It doesn't look like it. It's gotta be though, right? That's too many pages to not have doubles. Huh, maybe not. Um, doesn't say many pictures. So mostly settings. Charming, cozy, fall settings. Living in the woods, living in cottages in the fall, living on farms, in the mountains. Um, I don't love the frames. I, I don't know why they do this. And so many coloring books, they have to put a frame around the picture on the page. And I just don't like it. It's less, I'd rather have a full size coloring page. I like these pictures a lot, but I, I just, I could have done without the frame. Because it makes them smaller. Why not just print the book on a smaller like, print the book this size then, you know, if you're going to jip everybody by putting a frame around it. I don't think it makes it look better either, but I am highly picky. All these gorgeous outdoor scenes, which is why I bought it, even though I don't like the frame, because I love the pictures. There's a lot of them, but does it say? They're cute though, aren't they? 
a lot of them. It doesn't say. Why doesn't it say? I don't know. I think there's a lot. Um, this is the Jade Summer Autumn Coloring Book. Um, a lot of these might seem simple, but I don't know that they all are simple. Let's take a look. Looks like there's some quotes. It doesn't say it's easy, but I like these kind that are, they, they're somewhere between the easy coloring and the normal adult coloring. Like you can get them done quicker. Here's that annoying frame again. I like the baskets with all the goodies in it. Oh, that was the second copy. Well, there you go. Oh, so we have some landscape ones. And that's another thing. I don't need two of each picture. Either put more pictures that are single in there or just make the book smaller. I mean, nobody ever wants to do the same picture twice. Do you? I don't. And if I miss up and I'm partly through a picture, no way in heck am I starting over. Like, I, it's not worth it to me. I'll just go to a different picture. Um, this is the Sweet Autumn, which is a newer one by Morgana Sky. Again, I like how they put a little pop of green spring color in with the autumn color. It really pops out. This one is cute. These ones had mostly animals. Um, as they're nice and sweet. Um, zoomed in. So they're they're full size. At least the frame on this one goes more to the edge. Alexa, cancel. Um, but yeah, this one's cute. Things just seem, it, they do seem bigger, zoomed in, like focusing on the animals in the setting, not like a whole setting. Oh, I love that one. How cute is that? These are really cute. Especially if you like to do animals. That one's store. This looks like more like spring to me, but then they have scarves on. That's cute. So that's Morgana Sky's Sweet Autumn coloring book. Another very inexpensive book. Um, here's a couple I'd never heard of, but I just picked up because I saw them. Um, this is this delightful autumn coloring book, and it didn't really have a, a name. But I had some pretty nice pictures. Like, I, I don't know who did this. Um, it kind of was like a Coco Wayo. Like, they're single pages. Black backgrounds. The paper is decent. It's a little, it's like the Coco Wayo paper. Not sure what that is. Pears, painted apples, Halloween cupcakes different a lot of little little zen doodle stuff in the pictures that looks very cozy autumn wreaths uh, august calendar for autumn that i don't get i think that might be it was a boo-boo uh, some pies and notice how some have the black background, some don't. Gardening, fall season books. Witch's hat, corn maze. I'm just flipping through this one because it's just so different than the others. Yeah, I thought it was pretty neat. There's the October one, that's kind of cute. Yeah, so it's different. Some black, some white background, single page, single sided, delightful autumn. Um, Copyright by who knows who. These could be images that were purchased from like eBay, I'm sorry, Etsy or, um, you know, oh God, what's it called? The place where you buy, you can buy tons of images that are pre-drawn and put them into your own coloring book. Up, not Upwork. Oh God, what is it? I'm gonna think of it in a minute. Ah, come on. Anyway, Autumn Vibes, Coloring Book Cafe. This one has all the inspirational sayings in it. Yum, yum, yum. I want some of that. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. I am so addicted to the Starbucks large soy pumpkin lattes with extra caramel drizzle that I 
been every time I go out like a couple times a week I, I oh gotta swing by and get one even though it's like three four in the afternoon because it's gotta enjoy them while you can but they're so good ask for a and the soy is a little bit sweeter um it doesn't have as much of like an earthy taste as real milk and I don't drink regular milk anyway but it's really good soy a large soy pumpkin spice latte with caramel drizzle you can have with or without whipped cream. I do without, but you could do whipped cream. It would be even better if you do consume dairy. Um, trust me, you will love it. Autumn time. Lots of... It's like, I love these foliages and wreaths, but I, I, I'm not huge on words in pictures. But I don't have very many, so I figured I can suck it up for this because I like these pictures. Um, Autumn Vibe, the coloring book cafe. Of course, this is also newer by Coloring Book Cafe. It came out a month ago, I think. Cute um, autumn. And it really is cute. So I definitely want to do some page a page in this as well. I think I marked one. What did I mark? I'm going to color. Yeah, I'm going to color this one. It has a very light grayscale. Some gorgeous flowers. Adorable, adorable little animals doing things not just animals sitting there um it's not even a full and grayscale it's mostly line art with a little bit of teeny bit of shadowing like not really hardly very much at all cute as a bug's ear i love these pictures and i don't understand why they always provide these like why do we need to see the minis i don't know i never understood that like i've never done anything with them i, I don't know but they all do that so have to get this one. You're going to love it. I'm linking all of these books below if you're interested. I've had this one for a couple of years before I got all my others. Um, new and expanded edition, adult coloring book, autumn, 100 unique designs. These are just like the kind you can buy stock, stock line art, um, probably, and put it into your own coloring book by various artists. Um, this, the black lines in here are pretty thick um, and there's no consistency. You can tell different artists did them. They're also different. Like, I, this did not appeal to me at all. A lot of them don't appeal to me. Maybe only a fourth, an eighth of them do. I don't even like this book now that I have all the others, to be honest. Did I even color anything in this years ago? Let's see. A little too zen doodly for my taste. I must have colored something in here. Maybe I didn't. I just didn't like it. Nothing? Really? Huh, this book has never been colored in? Maybe I'll give this one away, you guys, for my fall giveaway, because I just don't like it. If you guys are watching this video and you're interested in this book, just make some kind of comment below. Just tell me you're interested, and maybe I'll just randomly pick someone to give this book away to. Um... All right, um, several more. Easy Fall by Joshua Dunbar, another adorable book. Um, I just love it. His style is, it's like childlike, but advanced at the same time. It's hard to describe. I love Joshua Dunbar. This is the one I'm going to be coloring, this cute little autumn coffee shop. So I marked that one. But I love the style of the, the drawings with the light, the thicker black lines, the light gray scale. This paper really is nice for colored pencils. I've done several and some of his other books with my colored pencils, any of the colored pencils, and they almost all work in here. Prismacolors, Brunzeals, Deerwent, Chromaflows, I think I've used them all. Um, you can do markers in this book. These are great pictures for markers. I mean, if you really just want to, like, test out a new kind of pencils and swatch a leaf and on a leaf, maybe I'll do that with my giant credit color pencils I'm going to test out that I haven't tried yet. I don't even love landscape pictures, but quilt for sale, football season, Thanksgiving pie, very easy stuff, especially if you're a beginner or you just want to do something simple in a short period of time, even if you are advanced, I think you'll like this book because I love it. Um, this is Autumn Bliss by Coloring Book Cafe. They have so many autumn books. 
Um, I'm going to be doing one in here I marked, which is this mushroom basket. I have no clue how I'm going to do this basket, but I thought it would be a fun challenge. Be in the mood for my mushroom soup. This one is mostly outdoor foliage. And I, I love doing pumpkins and squashes and leaves, all things that are outdoor. Hopefully you guys are, oh, look at the pie with all the flowers. They look like a berry pie though, like a blueberry pie. Not very autumn-y. Hopefully you guys are taking notes of any you see that you like, so you can look for them in the links below, or go check them out or put in your cart for whenever you want to make a little treat to yourself. Um, this is the Country Autumn by Jade Summer. I did see some in here I like. I have, I love this one. Love, love all, I love them all. I love all the pictures in this book, which is very surprising. Um, um, I'm not a huge Jade Summer fan. I'm going to do this apple cider, uh, lakeside, kind of Vermont scene picture and no clue how I'm going to tackle that but I love my challenges look at the gorgeous Paris cheese apple platter on a wood cutting board garden shed your Vermont country farm in autumn I love this book I could just color in nothing but this book all month long and be happy I don't really think there are any pictures in here I don't like. Yeah, it, it is a nice book. It, it's, Jade Summer is hit and miss. Ooh, look at that, the antiques. Ooh, I love it. Are these all landscape? I think it goes back to non-landscape, doesn't it? No, I'm gonna have to show you something like this, but I'm just not so good at flipping it this way. Look at that general store. Corn, potatoes, candy. So much details. I've been in a Vermont country store that looked like this. Probably the one in Stowe um, or on the way to Woodstock. <sighs> We've been there twice. I love it. I wish I could move there. Look at that corn maze, pumpkin patch, very Halloween-y. Still some Halloween type pictures in here. Oh my gosh, I love this book. And if I gave away all my other books, I could keep busy with this one for several years. Yeah, so love everything about this Country Autumn book by Jade Summer. Very nicely done. Um, this is Jade Summer's Halloween coloring book, which I think has some fall type pictures in here too. I'm just trying to look real quick. I grabbed it because I, I couldn't remember. Yeah, we have some fall type stuff in here. That was a second copy. Maybe not. Mostly it's more Halloween. I didn't get a chance to color in this one. So cute. Yeah, maybe yeah, that one you could do. Maybe a little autumn fall theme. I mean, Halloween is in, Halloween is in the fall and autumn, so... You could do, you know, any of these for the month of November. Um, I have about six or seven left. Um, this is Hello Autumn by Demita Victoria. Another Demita Victoria, different than the other one I showed you. I'm going to do this one, the pumpkin, scarecrow, candle kind of bouquet. Uh, love my fall foliage. Don't know what I'm going to use. Probably mixed mediums. These have the black background, single-sided. Tons of flowers. I don't get as many flowers in the fall because it's usually too brisk and cold. Thanksgiving turkeys. Lots of, lots of, lots of, I think there's two sets in here, it looks like, yeah. But it's just great pictures. Love it. I love it so much. This is a nice one. 
Hello Autumn by Jamina Victoria. Two sets. Nice big hefty book. But just all these gorgeous outdoor scenes. Um, yeah, imagine doing these turkeys. Wouldn't that be gorgeous? Alright. I have 50 Autumn Miniatures by Camellia Angelkova. Different than the, 50, the Autumn Mandalas, which I showed you. So I'm going to have to do a couple of these. Quick, easy ones you can do in one sitting because they're so cute. Just whip out your inexpensive Sharpies, your Amazon Basic Markers, your um, any alcohol marker you have. Even your Crayolas, your Super Tips, whatever you want. This is so cute. I'm going to do the, the cute little Scarecrow couple. It's what I picked. At the beginning of each month, I pick, I figure about how many pictures I'll be able to do. Usually about one a day. I pick about 30 usually. Sometimes I can do more. And then I go through the books and pick the page I want and mark them. And then I put a big pile on my desk. And my goal is to finish the pile by the end of the month. <laughs> and uh, sometimes my pictures speed up as the month goes on. Because I want to, it looks like I want to achieve my goal. I'm going to do this one. This is the um, Autumn Patterns Black Background by Color Questopia. Color by Number. Still getting into the Color by Number. I've only done one or two in the Halloween book so far. I'm not sure how I'm going to like it. But I'm going to give it a try. I just want to remind you to use darker colors for whatever color it tells you, if you can, to cover up the numbers. I don't like seeing the numbers in my pictures. Yeah, there's that autumn black background. A few freebies in here. For Halloween, I have that book. National Parks. All right. Um, this is super, super neat. This is Country Seasons. All Four Seasons, 100 Amazing Coloring Pages by Ava Brown. So you do have the Summer, Spring, Winter, Fall. Um, the pages are amazing. Um, of course, there's Christmas, or you know, Summer, Spring, and Halloween and Autumn. So you can get this book. And you're covered for uh, coming for Christmas as well. Let's see here. Of course, Christmas is more in the back. A lot of landscape ones. Let's get to the autumn and fall. I love this book. Yeah, here we go. We got some autumn and fall already here. Oh, not there. There. Autumn and fall. Lots of farm scenes. This one. You can't really go wrong. Oh, this makes me think of Vermont. Oh, I want to go to Vermont again and again and again. We went in the winter both times. Believe it or not, I never got to go in the fall. And then, of course, you have your summer. But if you go even over into the spring ones, like you could pull this one off as a fall one. Um, potatoes, farm fresh produce. You know, you could pull off some of the spring ones to be autumn also. Just change the color of what you put in it. This is a fantastic book. Ten bucks. Um, very nice artwork. Nice and detailed. I love it. I love it. I love it. I have a few more. Of course, I have Deborah Muller's um, Fall Vibes and Fall Fairies. Um, this is a brand new one, Fall Vibes. I'm going to be coloring two in here, which is this one. And I marked to do this one. But, oh, I like this. Oh, I like this one too. Darn it. Just cute, precious animals and girls and pumpkins and kind of those whimsy girls that are just so sweet and pretty and innocent. Love her stuff. Oh, I want to do that one. Darn it. In the past, I had nothing but Deborah Muller books. I would just do hers all day. All fairies. I have quite a few done in here, though. Um, this is one I'm going to do. 
that I have not done yet. Some of these I've done years ago, so they're not so good. Not so good at all before I even knew how to do backgrounds or anything. So these are two great choices. Particularly love her new one here. She has one other one that I don't have. Fall something. I can't think of it. Um, I have um, Sun Life Drawings Autumn Colored by Number Stained Glass, which is a gorgeous book. I've seen some completed pages of this, and it looks really nice. And the numbers are much more faint and light. You can barely see them. So a lot lighter than the Color Questopia Color by Numbers. Um, or the ones by Sasha Sandiva. So you can probably use markers that are a little lighter. So I'm just going to randomly do one of these. And I can't even tell what it's going to be. But that's what's kind of fun about it. Yeah, so I'm going to do this one. Um, here are some completed ones here. I think they're really pretty when I've seen them completed. And lastly, I have two by Teresa Goodridge, um, Autumn Charm and Autumn Scenes. You've probably seen these. These have been around for a long time. Can't go wrong with Teresa Goodridge Autumn books. Um, lots of autumn-y things to do in these books. I have some completed ones. I don't know I want you guys to see. So they, they might need touching up. I want to save them for my completed videos. I've done a lot in, the, in here, actually. I showed you this one for my Halloween video, which I did. I did this autumn one like two years ago, maybe. Um, yeah, so lots of stuff in this. Then, of course, we have Autumn Charm, which I chose this one. I think I want to do this with my pencils. Not sure which pencils. I have a lot of pencils. I have every pencil you could want. I did this one last year. You tell you can see my skills were already improving more last year, even compared to previous years. I don't know what I use. I think I use Spectrum Noir Tri Blend markers for this. And oh, love it. Love, love, love. Okay, you guys, I think I'm done, believe it or not, with my autumn and fall themed book collection. I hope you find something you like. I will link below all of these books. Please take a wander on down there, see if there's anything you want to look at or add to your Christmas wish list or spread the word and let me know which one you like. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Check out what I called it in October, 2022, which I will also link below. See you again soon.